Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I've got something really exciting today. I've wanted to show you this for ages and now it's finally here. They're all finished and they're all up and I can show you. So let's take a look at what this is. You can probably already see from the cover, but let me just explain. And this is a nail art planner. And then it says that this nail art planner is for almond, coffin, square and stiletto. So let me just explain. Um, this is from Amazon. And this isn't something that I've just gone and had a look at and bought. I've designed this. This is on sale from me through Amazon. So, yeah, so I've designed this and it does get printed by Amazon and sent off to all the various countries where it's available. So I'm just going to show you inside. Now this, I do need to say this one is a mixed nail art planner. So it's got all these different nail shapes in it. I have done some more which I will show you a little bit later in the video so there are ones for just almond coffin square or stiletto or there's this mixed one that has a few of each so I'm just going to show you first of all so just to prove that it is mine um, I'll show you this page which has got all my info there so that is me so this is basically what you get inside this planner now, I've seen these planners for sale by other people, but I wasn't, I wasn't really that impressed with the way that they look. So I thought I wanted to make one that I could use and that hopefully other people will want to use as well. So your first page is the nail design plan. So this is where you're going to plan out um, everything for your nails. Now, this could be something that you do in your own nails at home. But I wanted it all to also to be for nail techs who had clients coming in and then they can liaise with the client and make the perfect plan for them. So you could use an inspiration photo and put it there or you could actually take a photo of the finished nails and put that there and keep it. And this is just where you go through the nail length. And this is more for the nail tech, um, just to keep notes. So how difficult it is might depend on how much you were charging, the time it is to complete, the length of the nails. So what kind of nails, natural or overlay or extensions, acrylic or gel or other. And then whether you're getting nail art on there as well in gems, etc. And then I've also put a colour palette here, so you could put all the colours that are going to be in this set. So if your client says, well, I don't know what I want, but I know that I want these colours, then you could put those on there and it will just help you with your design. And then there's also this little bit where you could sort of draw out which gems you were going to use in what sort of configuration. And then you can list your products there and you can put all your price in there or any other notes. And then so when your client had decided what they wanted and you've done your plan, you've got your pricing and everything there. So then the next page is the actual design page. So I decided to have three sets of nails on here so that there can be all different variations maybe of one design or just a few designs in the same thing. So you've got your one here, so you've got your two thumbs, you've got a full hand there. And it's got first option and then you've got a, another one so this could be a second option or this could be just where you're going to put the gems and you could draw those on so that if your client wants the design but then they might want the design without gems on so they could see the difference between the two and then when you finally decided what's going to happen you could put it on here so it'd look like so your client or you could see what it looked like actually on hands so obviously that's how your hands would look that's how the hands are on there so you can see that these are shortish so they're sort of almond shape so we've got that there and we're just going to have a look at the other shapes so you've got quite a lot with the almond shape and they're all the same so you've got two pages with each one And then we move on to coffin shape. So the plan page is exactly the same. It's just the nail shape that's changed. So now we've got coffin shape. And it's the same on both of these and then on the hands as well.
Then after that, we've got square. So again, the plan page is the same. It's just the nail shapes that's changed. And there's quite a few of those as well until we get to the last one, which is stiletto nails. So as you can see, they're like the almond, but they are much longer. And then you've got your two hands and then you've got the what would be the sort of finished plan on those ones. And then if we look at towards the back, you always get a few blank pages. Uh, this is just asking if you have had this nail planner and you like it just to give me a review because because I'm selling these on Amazon, I do need reviews to make sure that other people buy them. And the more reviews you get, the more widely advertised this will be on Amazon. So that kind of bumps up. So I have sold a few of these already because they have been on sale for a while. So I'd love to know what you think. Is this something that you would use? I mean, if you're just doing your nails at home, you might want one of these mixed ones so you could change it up. If you just wanted, if you always do your nails in a stiletto shape, you could just have that. Uh, an entire book just with stiletto. And I will show you on the website what they look like. So I'm going to put all the links to all of the planners in my description box. So there are 120 pages in total. I'll just show you how thick it is. So it's that thick. So you've got quite a lot of different pages there. It should keep you going for quite a while. And you can use pen on this. You can use colored pencils on this. You could even use, if you wanted to, you could put nail polish directly on the pages. You could put gel polish on, but anything that you put on these pages aren't incredibly thick um, I don't get to choose the thickness of the paper that's taken out of my control so the pages are quite thin so I would say if you were doing that maybe not on every page because then it will start to bulk up um, the book what you could also do you can actually stick things on here so if you wanted to do an example of the gems you could actually stick the gems in but obviously that is going to bulk up the book and it might be hard to close it um, and it could cause problems that way, but it's up to you. You can do that if you want to. So as you can see, mine's completely blank. I haven't actually designed anything myself yet, but I will be using this because I do often look at um, inspiration photos and I want to change it up a little bit. Sometimes it's really hard just to imagine it. And I know that a lot of people like to actually visually see the design before they start doing it on nails. I know that a few people that do nail videos, they actually do a set completely off camera and then they recreate that entire set on another set of nails. And I know that must take such a long time. Um, and maybe this is a way where you don't need to do that. And you can get that visual without actually having to recreate a, you know, a second set of nails. So yeah, I thought it could be used by nail techs, people doing their own nails at home, but also um, people like me who like to do nails for YouTube. I thought it might be, um, you know, a good tool to use. So get in the comments and let me know what you think. Do you like it? What do you think of the designs? I really like it, actually. I love it. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely using the mixed one. So these retail on Amazon in the UK for $9.99. So as I said, it is 120 pages, so it should last you quite a long time. They are in um, paperback. So you can see that it is quite big. So what I'll do is I'll put all the measurements in the description box as well so you can see exactly how big it is. So it's not just, you know, your, your little tiny nail plan. You've got plenty of room. And I wanted that it that big because I wanted it to, I mean, you can see how big I'll put my fingers up against there so it is my fingers are really small so for most people this will probably fit their own their own hands if I just get a nail tip okay so just as an example I've just put some nails that I'd already done on another set um, from my practice hand and I've put those over so you can see that the thumb is quite a bit bigger but the rest of the nails are sort of quite similar to um, to the ones on the practice hand. Now I've done the thumbs bigger because we tend to do a bit more design work on the thumb if we're working on 
say a client so that's why I wanted the thumbs to be a bit bigger but then yeah if I move it down here these hands are smaller so yeah you wouldn't really be able to fit them all on there because it's quite a bit smaller so yeah right I'm just going to take you to the website now to Amazon and show you all the different ones so the first one that you'll see is the mixed one and then I'll show all the other ones. Now J&J &J Press that you'll see is the author, that's me. Um, and also these are print on demand so you would order it and you wouldn't get it sort of the next day. You'd order it and then Amazon would send it, send it to be printed so you're talking a few days before you actually get it delivered to you. So if you have any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. If you do want to purchase one of these planners, they are available um, in most countries they are $9.99 in the UK and they are $12.99 in the US but I will show you that on the website so yeah I can't wait to hear what you think so if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so that is it for this video so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye